going to be working on a custom set of rail accessories. I'm going to be doing a standalone player desk. I want to be able to build a little mini tower so you can roll on the player desk. I want to build a dice catapult. Put right into the table and you'll be able to launch your die into a tray. Old school manual holster. Something that will click into the table that you can keep your player's handbook, any other manuals, nice and handy. Primarily working with some spalted lumber here. It is pretty cracked, so for a lot of things, this wood is essentially waste. But I'm going to be doing a mixed media, so it's going to be a, a resin mix with the broken pieces. So those are the main things that I'm going to be working on. So first things first, I'm going to be breaking this down over in milling. We're gonna go ahead and cross cut this. A little bit more of a manageable jump. Now, we're gonna head over to the horizontal bandsaw. We're gonna make it a little bit thinner. My next step, I'm gonna need to build the plywood jig for the resin pour. All right, so this is our resin pouring jig, scrap plywood, some two by fours, some packing tape, cover the surfaces that are gonna be in contact with the resin so it doesn't all fuse together. This one's the player desk one, but this is oversized. I am going to cut off a chunk, and I'm gonna use that block as my blank for the catapult hole. Putting a little bead of heavy CA on the mold, it should give it enough of a grip so that this wood, which is pretty light, doesn't end up floating in the resin, with everything nice and flat, kind of the way I intend it to. do a resin pour so I'm gonna need to mix the resin so you got your resin and your hardener most of these are mixed in equal amounts I'm gonna do an extra large batch on this one but since I'm doing the same resin mix if I have any overflow it'll work for the other one as well a bit tricky to know exactly how much of the pigment powder to put in, but that's still pretty vibrant. Now, for the less fun part, I've got to mix this for about five minutes straight. Okay. I think it's gonna be a long, long time. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. And I think it's gonna be five, thank God. Should be it for the edges. Now start pouring some. Definitely gonna need to mix more. That is a pretty green. Yeah. I'm gonna use a blowtorch, and I'm just gonna break up uh, surface tension a little bit. Allows the air bubbles to start to form, and without breaking them, they'll harden. They'll leave like lots of little pock marks all over the top of it. I'll have to do this periodically as it's curing. That's it for now. Nice and quick, easy. All right, so we're gonna let these guys cure up, and then pick up in the morning. We'll start milling things down and uh, move on with the next step. Action. Oh, yeah. These guys have had a chance to fully set and cure last night. We're gonna break them out of the mold, see how they look on both sides.
got the player desk back from CNC. They caught it out. They did a great job. Have a look. Very happy with uh, how that came out. You really had to kind of work with the placement in order to hit it where I wanted it. When you cast resin, sometimes you'll get air bubbles trapped near the surface. Fortunately, uh, CA glue is a great way to fix that. So we got a bunch of different possible ways to launch a dice on this catapult. My preferred method, if it works, is going to be to use the power of magnets. We use these in our caster tiles. They are crazy strong. Put another magnet on this guy. I'm gonna glue the hinge down, and then I am going to try to force resistance and make that hopefully launch a die forward. We made a lot of it super glue. If that fails, I've got two different types of springs. Well, as it stands right now, this is not being held up by anything except for the magnet. We're gonna try and press against that. Good. Not bad. I think this could actually work. This is gonna work. Look at the tiniest hinges, dude. Bigger hinges, bigger screws. Yep, that's pretty much where we're at. I'm gonna go run to the hardware store. Okay. Works. That was the best one yet. <laughs> yep, all right. Springs have it. This is gonna be for the manual holder. I'm gonna start cutting out the pieces that are gonna go onto it. Now it's very blocky and ugly. Once I get everything cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to use that to trace out the opening I want. The template makes it nice and easy to get a, a uniform on both sides. Well, didn't break anything, no major blowout. Pretty happy with how that cut. This part here goes into the magnetic rail on the table, but once you got weight in there, if this is your only point, you kind of create like a lever point. So this guy here is going to sit underneath it, and that should provide it all the stability it needs to just kind of click in and be nice and rock solid. What are you doing? I had made a prototype for the mini tower that's going to sit in the player desk. Right. These pieces are based on that. I'm going to put these together, see if I like how it looks, see how it fits with the desk, and then kind of go from there. I'm going to have a little ramp. That's generally the shape that I'm looking for. Contour this, do a bit of hand sanding on the inside, do a bit of belt sanding, make sure everything's flush on the outside, and kind of go from there. Yep. 
Alright, well, let's get these done so we can get it done. Jay made stuff. Oh, I've heard, I've seen, I've seen things. This episode of Warm Life is brought to you by Cherry Blossom. Wormwood Serenity. It's terrible. Oh, good lord. I don't know what that is. Picture frame. Kind of, sort of. Wormwood Aquarius. All right. This one is intended to go onto a table, whether it's MGT or Prophecy. The point of this is for actually the DMs uh, and all the other manuals that you use while playing DD or any other game. It's like the Wormwood Scriptorium. And trademark, no, trademark. Get it, get it, see it. Most of these guys come with uh, pretty cool artwork. Yeah. So I They'll figured great. they can kind of show it off. That is cool artwork. Now, so wait, 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 what's this thing? Just oh. for like baubles? Pens and pencils. Do people still use the books though? I feel like they use the iPads, the kids oh, nowadays. A lot of them do, but I still prefer using the paper manuals. How old are you? I'm turning 40 this month. Oh, no. that's, yep. Yeah. Yeah. yep, that sounds right. I made two resin pours to achieve this. I did a nice thick one, and then I made another large one, but it was only about three eighths of an inch thick, and I just milled everything out of that. So you took some yep. big, janky, spalted boards, uh, glued them up with resin to fill it all, and then just treated that as lumber. Right. Uh, yeah, well, that's much smarter than what I would have <laughs> The bigger pour was the player desk here. The intention for this one was for it to actually Whoa! be a freestanding one. So, um, Lap people, desk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As part of keeping this self-sufficient for freestanding, I made the smallest tower that I've come up with so far. What? <laughs> what? Uh, I want to try, I want to try. Oh, yeah. oh, right into oh. that. Nice. Hey, that's pretty good. You can't you can't really throw them too hard, but it does work. Now you need a tiny little dice roller tray. <laughs> well, I mean, if no, you to... stop, <laughs> shut up, no. The most fun I've had with any of these pieces was this guy. This is so this now is this so is tray feet, so you can mount it on the table. It's got the magnet, so it'll also click into That's here. Crazy. This is strong enough. Jeez. Whoa, that's pretty good. I want to like... Say, this, like this one, you can actually hurt someone. There we go. Oh. oh. Oh, that was really good. Come on! Oh, that's so fucking good. See if you can hit the hex track. There we go. Shovel boy! Oh! I'm bad. Hey! That's a four. Great. <laughs> Great. This is a potential product. And then the genius of this is, is mounting accessories into the card slot. I think that's just a genius concept. Am I sold on this? No. No, I'm not sold on this. But the concept is actually quite good. You can shoot anything. Try to break the camera. Yeah, man. You can shoot matches. That didn't work. How expensive is that camera? Uh, uh just shoot it. I'll tell you after. <laughs> Fuck. I wasn't recording. You gotta take him out and do it again.